Kelihayan negara barat memainkan berbagai isu dalam membingkai Islam sedemikian buruk melalui media, kini terlihat semakin surut. Menyadari media telah menjadi alat strategis bagi kaum kapitalis menyetir opini publik untuk menyudutkan umat Islam selama ini, masyarakat barat mulai tersadar dan mengalihkan pandangan pada fakta yang mereka temukan di berbagai negara muslim. You don't have to worry. <laughs> And uh, you can walk into any mosque, as I often do, walk in, just say, right, they don't ask whether you're a Muslim or not. You walk in, say hello, you don't have to start praying, you walk in, relax, sit down, and that's it, you're welcome. Just stroll in, relax, sit down, talk to the guys, have a cup of tea, and obviously if you are learning uh, Arabic, you can then ask for a Quran. I always ask for the big print one, it's a, it's a, it's a larger size with a bigger print. And there's no pressure to become a Muslim, they don't pressurize me. Bahkan salah seorang pengguna media sosial terang-terangan mengungkap siapa teman dan siapa lawan bagi dirinya. Ia menyebut bahwa muslim bukanlah orang yang harus dikucilkan selama ini, melainkan orang-orang yang menguasai 96% media terbesar di seluruh dunia yang menuding Islam adalah hal buruk dan harus dihindari. Ain't nobody afraid of Muslim people anymore. The war on terror propaganda is not working. I've met a lot of Muslim people at this point in my life, and almost all of them were extremely kind, and a lot of them were super disciplined and focused, which is something that I respect a lot as a wrestler. Some of my favorite mixed martial arts fighters like Khabib Nurmagomedov are devout Muslims. Nowadays, we have white boys in the rural Midwest rooting for Muslims every UFC fight night. You're not going to be able to convince us that these people are evil, and meanwhile, Muslim people People with kindness and friendship are bringing more people towards the cause of Palestine. There were a bunch of students at the student protest recently who converted to Islam. And the mainstream media was like, look at this, see, America's being taken over by Muslims. And I'm like, I don't blame those kids for converting to Islam at all. The Muslim students were probably super nice and super awesome and super welcoming. Penuturan ini senada dengan sebuah lansiran dari media berita internasional TRT World pada tahun 2021. Penggunaan bahasa propaganda terhadap Islam telah ditemukan dalam penulisan 48.000 artikel online dan 5.000 video siaran dari 34 media Inggris dan 38 saluran televisi sejak tahun 2018 sampai dengan 2020. Lebih mengejutkannya lagi, mereka tak segan-segan menyelipkan bahasa anti-Islam walau berita yang disampaikan tidak sedikit pun berkaitan dengan orang Muslim atau agama Islam. Hasil penemuan ini semakin menunjukkan betapa keras usaha negara barat dalam menciptakan kesan negatif terhadap umat Islam di seluruh dunia. A recent report from the Center for Media Monitoring says that mainstream media organizations spread anti-Muslim rhetoric even in cases when the story isn't about Muslims. From 2018 to 2020, the center analyzed 48,000 online articles and 5,000 broadcast clips from 34 British media outlets and 38 television channels and found widespread use of anti-Islam and anti-Muslim language. The report says 60% of articles on mainstream media platforms portray a negative image of Muslims and Islam, with global media agencies, AFP, Reuters and Associated Press listed among the offenders. The report also cites many examples of how these news agencies link Islam with various crimes in their coverage, even if Islam has nothing to do with the story. And people need to know this that when you're on any social media platform, the algorithm is so sophisticated. When you click on some anti-Muslim literature, yeah. propaganda, now the algorithm knows that, hey, they are really interested yeah. in anti-Islam, anti-Muslim literature, and they keep feeding it to you and keep feeding it to you, and it makes your view of the world very one-dimensional. 100%.